autism was an aspect of it. My son is on the spectrum, and so I did my best to contact the producers and say, I'd love to offer my services to consult. Now, Boo Boo had done so much work already that he really didn't need any consultation. And with that, I said, by the way, there's a role that I'd be perfect for. <laughs> So to help How with consulting, happens. can I, you know, audition for the role? I start doing that. I got to start consulting, <laughs> <laughs> or at least just get in the door. And, you know. Actors take note. Uh, <laughs> um, I just want to add that actually, um, Boo Boo came into the room and um, through Brad Gilmore. I think Justin, you you came through Brad Gilmore too, right? And then, um, and he was just the character. And then, um, how did you come on board, Tyler? Uh, I was involved in another project, and um, one of the producers of this movie asked if uh, if I wanted to read the script and take a look at this part because they needed to fill this part. Uh, so I did that, and I uh, I loved the script and I loved the character Doug because he's a lot like me, and I brought a lot of me into the role, and. Uh, <laughs> And you got to make out with a hot girl, and I was excited about that. <laughs> but uh, but no, the whole project as a whole uh, attracted me to it. And then once we started getting involved in it and and like shooting, uh, I fell in love with everybody, and everyone was just super cool. And yeah, I, I think we met on the first day of shoot, and it was like the last three hours, and I was right. like rushing. <laughs> oh my god, we have like ten shots to go. Yeah, it was it was a long day, and I showed up at the end of the day, um, and made everything easy for them. Felt that they were these great differences, but there's so many similarities. You know, you look at someone who's coming, uh, has str struggling to coming out uh, and w playing uh, playing an older brother to, a, you know, uh, uh, to a kid who has uh, suffering from Asperger's. You know, I think there's so many similarities in that is the fact that you almost can't be yourself. And, um, and you look at that, so I think a lot of it was playing, uh, share a lot of similarities with, with the world compared to just having so many differences, which, we sometimes magnify too much, and I thought the script was brilliant. It was there was a lot of funny moments, and you guys did a wonderful job of working with. I only got to work with a couple people, and I was kind of bummed about that, but because <laughs> these guys were so great in the movie. So, but um, uh, it was a great opportunity. Well, you know, Harry, one of the things that, that happens with you in the film is that you are absent for so much of it, and yet your the the presence of the character is felt throughout. I mean, you're when you're not there, you're being talked about or remembered or you know fussed over in some way or other. Um, did that kind of put pressure on you that for the, okay, I've got this handful of scenes and I've got to make this character super magnetic so that they'll be talking about me for the rest of the film? <laughs> Talk about me after I'm dead. Um, no, I, it, you know, it was, it, you only had, what, like three, 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 three days. I yeah, I only yeah. had three days. I was like shooting that in the middle of Glee and, and, I, uh, and then I got to, I, you know, you have to go on tour and do all this crazy stuff. But and then you, I, I shot the movie in three days, and you know it was, I mean, it wasn't like major pressure because I, I felt like Quentin made it really comfortable, and you know all the actors were so great, and then Boo Boo, I just it just clicked, everything just clicked with him, and uh, I felt like his older brother, uh, and um, just watching the screen made me like makes me so proud of him because he just did an incredible job, he just blew me away. So.